welcome back to another video of H&H &H Express Model and Scale Trains. In the live stream which I did on Monday, I showed you which sensor types I'm gonna use in the shadow station. And I was going to prepare at least one sensor already. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I remove the sensor, the hull sensor from the printed circuit board and I'm gonna add the wire to it as well. But I'm also gonna install it in one of my tracks and that would be Shadow Station track number two. So I'm gonna show you that all in this video and it's all about this sensor. So stay tuned. So on the live stream on Monday, I twisted these wires together. to get this twisted wire and the black is ground the red is uh, the 5 volt and the yellow will be the signal wire so what I'm gonna do here so let me remove one sensor over here so I'm gonna remove this uh, hull sensor and then gonna solder the hull sensor already on the cable or on the wire and then put it through the uh, table and then solder it back on here so i did a check and the outside although it says here a g that should be the five volts the middle lug is the ground and the s that is the sensor wire. So that would be yellow, black, red. So, but since these are fabricated uh, in an automatic machine, this tin or the, the uh, solder is very hot. So what I need to do is I need to re-solder it first and then I can remove it. So let me do that. I have here the solar iron. I use some uh, solder and it has flux inside. So let me solder it a little bit to reflow it. So now it's reflown. Now I can flip this one up and what I usually do by removing it is I put my solder iron on these two pins and then I should be able to flip it over. So let me do this and you see the hull sensor is now free on these two pins. I prepared these two already and I just let them on the board for safety so that I know that the outer lug is the 5 volt. So let me uh, desolder this one completely. So now I have here the hull sensor. And this hull sensor will be put between uh, the beams on the track. So, but let me put them here in my helping hand. Let me clean up a little bit of the solder. Let's bend this pin. So I have this hull sensor. And I need to make sure that it is in the same position as this one. So I'm gonna put it over here. And there is a difference because it is a little bit capped over here and over there. So this would be the bottom side. So I need to turn it around. And now I can add the cables. One thing what I will do is I will use heat shrink to cover the cables. Let me grab a wire. I'm going to strip those wires. So I'm going to twist it because this is stranded wire. So I'm going to use some solder. And 
you don't need to use that much of solder these already have a little bit solder on it so that's fine I'm gonna use, put the heat shrink over it now let me uh, put that together So the outside was the uh, signal. I'm going to bend it a little bit. The middle was the ground. And if you think it's not not enough solder, just put a little bit on your tip. You don't have to put solder on it anymore because there's more than enough solder on the wire and on the legs of the hull sensor. Okay, so that's one side done. And we will put these over it. And you can use your uh, solar iron to uh, shrink these tubes. Uh, that should do it for now. So here is the section where the uh, hull sensors will go. So I drilled already holes so two holes here and two holes there but I'm gonna work on the outer section so you can see how uh, that goes and I'm gonna use this hole over here so this is the uh, hull sensor so I'm gonna put it through that hole I'm gonna do that with the other cables as well so let me grab it here so I have it here so, now this, and I need to check, so red needs to be at that end, this needs to be put here underneath, up in between the beams. So, but I need to check if there is any room here, or if I need to cut one beam out, because that would be the best thing to do. I screwed my tracks down for easy access so I'm gonna unscrew this one I'll remove that one so in here are some isolation points so I need to remove this one so I just need to check where so it would be this tile over here so looking at it it's actually a free one, so I, I would be able to uh, remove that one completely. So let me get a knife. Yep, yeah. this one is a free one. So let me press it again. That's that one. I don't want to remove the whole track. Just a simple section. So I'm gonna cut. And let me grab a track so you can see what I'm doing. So the flex section over here is here in this uh, at the inside. And then we have the fixed section which is at the outside. So that makes bending for an inside curve easier. You can also bend it outside, but to make the tiles a little bit better, you have that one at the inside. That makes it a more natural section. So that's what I did here. And let me see if that one is now completely free. That's that one. Yeah, that's that one. So now I can just push that one 
from the rails. Okay. So I now have a hole here. I'm gonna put the rails back into the joiners, the isolation joiners. To make it a nice curve again. Like this. Let's see if this one fits underneath. So it needs to be that way. Now you can see it's a little bit too high in regards to the uh, shrink tubing. So I'm gonna do some cutting away here with a Dremel. So let me do that. Let me make a mark. Yeah. Okay. Move the track. So it would be here. Since it's the outside, it's gonna be that section. So I have here a Dremel with a, uh, a sort of a sanding. And let me try to make it a ditch in here. Okay. Let's see if it's deep enough. rails back oh, no, let's see That should fit nicely. Let me put that screw back. So now let's put the uh, printed circuit board back. So I'm gonna solder this together. So I will be back and then uh, we're gonna show that it is working. So one moment. So here is the uh, sensor detection so when the green LED lights then the train is detected so I'm gonna do it by hand because I used a different locomotive than the one which usually stands here so I need to do it by hand so when that locomotive travels and it comes nearby you see that the green LED lights and then when it passes by, it goes off again. So that means that the sensor is working. And I, I can adjust the sensitivity in regards to the height. So on this locomotive, I added the magnet here in the front. I can also add a magnet in the back if I would. So, but uh, let's do it again. So that's how this sensor works. The same I'm gonna do at that end, but then I'm gonna use the read contacts. And it's actually the same as what this one does. I use the same PCB to regulate the sensitivity. So uh, I'm gonna do the other ones. And in the next video, and probably in the live show, I will show you the result on how everything is working. So that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos. And I will see you in the next video. 
Thank you and goodbye.